Rise and shine, all my beautiful apes. The markets are dying. AMC is holding up phenomenally well. This is seen as somewhat a rush to safety, in my personal opinion. But if you are just waking up for the day, or if you are not, we have to talk about specifically margin calls here in this video, where we currently sit for the intraday data on AMC, as well as why the markets are seemingly dying today, down almost 2% across the board, with the Russell 2000 down almost 3% and the VIX, the volatility index, the fear gauge is up 21%. So there are some big things that is happening today. AMC is doing phenomenally well, only down 2%. We were up 4%, went down to about 2%, back up to about 2% positive, now down 2% yet again today. So there's some big implications of what we're going to talk about here in this video. If you guys are excited about what is the head, what is ahead? for amc stock hit the like button for me consider subscribing to the channel let me know in the comment section what do you guys think about all of this information by doing all three of those things you help push this information out to as many apes as possible and some apes need to hear what is said here in this video so let's first off point out the obvious with amc stock amc is going to be very volatile throughout the rest of this week and potentially we're going to see margin calls coming to the hedge fund but we'll talk about that a little bit more later on into the video but amc is showing a lot of strength today so you should actually be very happy with the move that we are seeing and i hope everybody fully realizes why this is actually incredibly bullish we are still above our 28 dollar level of support so watch to see if we can remain above that throughout the rest of the day and we're currently 50 cents away from that and the pace of this move to the downside is not that strong we're seeing much bigger bounces than we are seeing drops with the stock and that's really the elephant in the room the, the thing that we first need to go over but let's talk about what is causing fear in the marketplace today briefly let's get into the margin call situation as well as the data behind amc today so we have three main fear catalysts that are happening today Goldman Sachs cuts GDP forecast after Senator Manchin says he won't support Biden's Build Back Better plan. And this has been pretty much priced in by investors. And this has a lot of things in this package. But one of the bigger ones investors are kind of worried about is going to be the child tax credit, which is essentially stimulus to a majority of Americans. That does not continue unless this bill does get passed. So, Goldman slightly lowered its real GDP growth forecast for each of the first three quarters in 2022. The firm now projects 2% growth in the first quarter, followed by 3% and 2.75% in the following two periods. Goldman previously expected growth of 3%, 3.5%, and 3%. So this is not good. They're substantially slashing their growth forecast by about 30% next year. Second big fear catalyst is that Omicron is spreading much, much faster than Delta. And even though it's not as severe of a disease, not as many people are going to the hospital or dying from this than they did with Delta or even the first strain Alpha of COVID, more cases still will mean more hospitalizations. If hospitals become overrun, you're looking at shutdowns. And the government, the Fed, would be stuck between a rock and a hard place because what do you do? You can't let hospitals overrun. You can't overrun the economy per se with stimulus again because high inflation. So that would be a bad scenario. But I don't think that's actually going to happen. I don't expect this to become a big problem in the next couple of weeks. Some people are calling out millions of cases per day by January or February. I could be wrong. I am by no means an epidemiologist. I'm no means a scientist. But I just don't think that's going to be the case because I think a lot of people have already had COVID. If they do get this again, it may not even give you symptoms the same way and you might not even realize it. And there's a possibility this has been spreading throughout the community already and you may have already been exposed to it, right? The general population. So... I don't expect that to be a big deal, but what is definitely a big deal is China's central bank cuts a benchmark rate for the first time since the pandemic. This is massive, massive news, and I think this is the second biggest fear catalyst right behind the Build Back Better plan and Goldman Sachs slashing the GDP 
GDP forecast because China does not cut its rates for no reason. This is signaling to everybody that the Chinese economy is slowing down dramatically. You guys can see right here, this is the China loan prime rate. And from 2016 all the way till 2020, they kept rates unchanged. They did not cut, they did not raise, they did not do anything. Pandemic hit and they did cut a little bit down about 1% less than 1%, about 0.6%, and they have stayed at about 3.85% for a while now. And then they shoot, just come out, you know, guns a blazing and essentially cut their rates out of nowhere down to 3.8%. Even though this was not a big cut, they like to do a lot of rate cuts, uh, you know, back to back. They don't really slash rates down a lot. They just cut back to back to back. Like you guys can see right here from 2015 through 2016, that's exactly what they did. So I think investors are pricing in a slower growth for China and China was the first country to recover from the pandemic. And you're seeing what is happening happening with their economy obviously slowing down that's a huge sign for investors that the american economy could be next now that in a nutshell is what the situation is why the markets are down so much uh, like two percent across the board that's a huge drop markets are essentially dying today and that feeds into what i really want to talk about here in this video which is going to be margin calls and that's why i wanted to go over really the fear catalyst first because Margin calls, if you guys are thinking about this, you're probably saying, hey, that's crazy. AMC is down 3% today. Why are you talking about margin calls? Margin calls have nothing to do with what AMC does because these hedge funds, they're not overly weighed in short positions, but there's a lot of them with large short positions. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. So it's not to say if AMC even went to hundreds or thousands of dollars per share, the hedge funds would be margin called. But when you see the amount of leverage the hedge funds have and the markets are down 2% across the board, you got to imagine these hedge funds are getting very close to margin calls. If you have a seven times leverage ratio or eight times leverage ratio like Citadel, the markets drop 2%. If you're not hedged out for the downside, then you're really dropping 10, 15%. Now imagine they are somewhat hedged out, but these hedge funds could be dropping 5% or more today alone in their market values. And we do know, like we've talked about many times, the markets are propped up on these very thin weak stilts due to all of the over $1 trillion stocks that are at almost all time high, slightly coming down today, but still they're propping up the indices. So if you're a hedge fund invested in mid cap stocks, you've gotten beaten into the ground. And this is the last thing you needed uh, to essentially start to see these margin calls. Now, let's get into some of the information around AMC. What is happening today? Let's get into the Ortex data first. And then I really want to go over the technical analysis with you guys because that is very important and that is very key when you're trying to figure out what is going to happen next for AMC. So we're looking at 20.26% short interest of free float. The short sellers are digging their own graves and it is too late to save them. This is an incredibly high number. Once we get the exchange reported short interest data that does come out here in about a week or so, we will see the short interest actually come in in between 20 and 25 percent and that's going to be incredibly bullish now we do have 104 million shares that are sold short these are only estimates we know the number is much higher return shares for the day so far of 64.2 thousand shares borrow shares 120.8 thousand shares so you're still seeing double the amount of shorting today than you were seeing shorts actually returning these shares goes without saying short sellers are crazy share utilization is 81.2 percent days to cover 2.45 days to cover we are seeing this correlation uh we have been throughout the last year right where the days to cover goes up stock goes down stock comes up days to cover goes down we're seeing this first tick down but I don't know. This should signify to us that we are going to see a continued rally throughout the rest of this week, but it's really going to have to do with the trading algorithms because it doesn't necessarily matter if, you know, uh, there's not bad news around AMC. The trading algorithms can just bid down these stocks just because algorithms account for 70% of the trading activity. So it's not to say AMC down 3% today is due to people selling the stock. I think it is more or less trading algorithms. Now let's get into the stock O tracker data. Take a look at what we're looking at for this week. And we are seeing a substantial amount of calls that are developing on the option chain. 129,000 calls that are out of the money, 17,500 calls that are currently in the money. And a lot of this open interest for the call side is just out of the money. A lot of that 
at the $30 strike. So once we do break above that, which I do think we will this week, we'll talk about that more on the technical analysis portion of this video, then you're going to see a big boost to share price. And I really want to see us cross above that 200 day moving average. On the put side, nothing significant relative to the calls, 85,000 puts that are out of the money, 13,000 puts that are in the money. So nothing substantial at this current moment, but we are getting very close to the January 21st, 2022 expiration date, which is going to be massive. We have over 520,000, 530 thousand calls total on this option chain 410,000 of these out of the money 116,000 that are in the money so this goes without saying if these calls just stayed in the money you're going to see 11.6 million shares that have to be bought but we do have about 56,000 for open interest at that $40 strike alone so if we do see a big boost to the upside you're going to see a lot of hedging that has to happen very fast and the deeper they go into the money the better overall nothing you know substantial on the put side compared to the calls 300,000 puts that are out of the money 60,000 puts that are currently in the money for that big expiration date January 21st 2022 now let's get into the technical analysis because this is going to be key watch to see if we can stay above 26 or 28 dollars per share worst case scenario i want to see us stay above 26.50 by the end of the day today and if tomorrow is another red day i want to see us remain above that that will totally signify a breakout because we have seen we hit 20 dollars 80 cents per share and actually right on this uh, support line in pre-market we hit twenty dollars 23 cents per share bounced up had a bit of a consolidation gapped up 19 percent now i do expect a little bit of a consolidation today and i really think that is really what we're seeing today is just a little bit of consolidation but as long as we don't go back down to really this 24 dollar level we're still in this bullish breakout territory and ultimately what i think is going to happen by the end of the week today like i said in the price prediction video is that we will break out a above the 200 day moving average and close in between 20 or uh, 32 35 where our 200 day moving average is and 35 dollars per share somewhat in this couple dollar range right here so i do expect a bullish rest of the week and what i'm seeing right now is incredibly bullish as well we're not flushing or gapping down under 28 dollars our support level we are holding up at the support level and this is proving to be support yet again now for the volume, we're looking at about 39.3 million shares that have traded hands, and we're not even halfway through trading so far for the day. So this is an incredible sign, and I do think hedge funds are buying AMC for a bit of a safety trade today. I think they are going to price in a lot more bullish momentum for the stock. After all, we still have over $15, about $17 left we have to recover to the upside, even to get back to this level that we were at in early December at about $45 per share. So all of this information incredibly bullish let me know what you guys think about margin calls because we are on the forefront of seeing these margin calls hit portfolios accounts and potentially see them cover on their amc short positions that is going to do it for this video love and appreciate you guys thank you for watching i will see you in the next one